Welcome back to YourLiveEvent.com. As you can see, Nathan Walsh, lens not broken. Final on the Tim Cazette seat sale scoreboard, 3-2. to two. Hillsborough Central Valley knocks off Gardner Express for the fourth straight time this summer. Coach, how do you guys do it? You guys got their number. Welcome back to YourLiveEvent.com, 8-5 to five final in favor of Hillsborough Central Valley, but I'm now joined by the Lumberjacks starting catcher, Jake Wolf. Jake, we were just talking off air. How do you feel? You took a lot of lumps and bruises behind the dish, took one right in the Adam's apple, if you want to show that off for the fans back at home. What are your initial thoughts after the ball game, personally and for the team? Just like Missouri Western softball field on my right, it's baseball field on my left. Every school, shop, company, business, sports team, what do they all have in common? They're all emptying out. But you know what they're also doing? They're going online, just like Bulldog Land is. Derek Zimmerman Geyer, News Press Now. Brown now directing traffic. Guarded by Juleson. It gets a screen from Quick. Drives inside. Now back. Oh, what a move. Puts it in. Absolute money for two by Tucker Brown. He's got 20 points, and he is public enemy number one tonight. Kevin McKinnon puts two up on your Patriot Field scoreboard. Central pass leads 2 0, 648 first quarter. Here's the top of the line. Three from the top of the key. Casey Werner puts it in for the tray. Kendrick leads 5 to 2 with Smith now spinning inside in the traffic. Kevin in a foul! <laughs> and Conte Smith pumped and looking to pump up the scoreboard here at Ed Weary Arena. She goes for the three point play. Burner now flies it up. Now to Desheer, hands it off. Desheer now left corner, McClellan. She's guarded by Holzer, gets the screen from Abigail. Now drives inside, left side. She is denied! Get that out of here! And Conte Smith again with the block. Oh my goodness! Back to Central Cast. Richter running the floor. They cut the Smith left wing. She will pull up. She goes lead, top of the key, three. Bang! <laughs> so I'll go at the top of the key now, being checked by Moni. He goes number five, Latrell Davis, left wing. Davis, beyond the arc, goes to Monster Baker, top of the key. He'll line up all the way from the Red River. This is Anderson now on the left wing. Lining up for a three ball is Farika Pinu. And he's nothing but net and wet from the left wing. Pushing it now to seven to five, and a lead for Cheyenne. It's like finding reverse Where's Waldo right now of Joseph Stetz. It's all <laughs> red and white on the floor here at Ed Weary Arena. 42-41, with 2.08 left to play in the fourth quarter. Central Cass on top of Kindred in the girls basketball region one championship game. At the Ed Weary Arena in Wapiton, North Dakota, Derek Zimmerman, Geyer, Jacob Tins, and Joseph Stetz, thank you for joining us on this journey tonight. This ball game, it's going to come down to the wire. This matchup was inevitable. Two teams who saw each other last season, and now we'll see who comes with the last laugh in the last 208 of the fourth. And if you're if you're a Vikings fan right now for the Kindred Vikings, you know that second quarter, how bad it was, and how unable you were to score, to think that you're only one point down, that really says a lot about your Vikings. Holzer with the basketball. Her team is two and one in single possession games and three one overall. The one lone loss to Thompson. Meanwhile, Kindred is two and two in single digit games and one and two in single possession. Now Holzer back to McKinnon, back to Holzer. Now left side, Morgan Lee, tipped away by Fryer and Johnson. Turnover Central Cast for fifth of the fourth. Now if they can take the lead, Kindred can for the first time since the second quarter. Fryer drives inside, puts up a 13 foot jumper, off the rim and in! Kendrick lead, Tina Fryer, six points, and it's 43-42. Kendrick up with 125 with the play. McKinnon now goes to Lee right wing. Lee drives inside against Fryer, in the paint, now to Holzer, left corner three, bang! Bang, oh! Riley Holzer! Gets the lead right back. She's got 11. That's going to go back and forth the rest of the time here. Lay up off it. Future oh, answers. Back and forth. It's going to be like that the rest of the ball game. I, I'd expect playing down last seconds here of the ball game. 45 all. 53 seconds in the fourth. McKinnon right wing. Off the layup from Future for two. And now what do we have right here? They call a foul against Kindred. With McKinnon driving. It's a tie game. Dutcher has 19, there's a ni 19 points. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for content like this, this ball game. Lord have mercy, Joseph and Jacob. 
This is what you expect out of the number one and number two seeds and the number one and number two team in Region 1. Timeout, Jay Bachman and the Squirrels. 45 all, 47.7 left in regulation. Central Cass and Kindred, the top two teams in the region, all knotted up here in the Region 1 Championship game on your Patriot Field scoreboard.